Hey guys, what's up? Turbo Gaming UK here. I still have a cold, so do bear with me. Today I have some slightly exciting news. Slightly exciting. Uh, my new GPU is not here yet, which sucks. But something did arrive today, all the way from uh, in Europe. Now, apparently Customs has already had a look at this, so they've seen it before me. Lucky bar stewards. So they, they've already opened it and had a look to see what it is. Presumably it confused them a little bit, I would imagine. But uh, yeah, guys, my uh, EK water block for the 3090, or the, actually does fit the 3080 as well, is here. Now, this is the Vector, and I, I believe it has uh, RGB as well. I don't think it says on the block, on the box, sorry. But I do believe it has RGB as well. Which is good. Everything has RGB these days, so why not a water block, eh? Now this is going to be fun one-handed, but I will, I'll do my best. Uh, welcome to my kitchen, by the way, where I'm recording. So let's just ease that on out. So yeah, you can you can tell it's definitely been uh, handled and opened because there's a, a little dent in the top there. But hopefully that's hopefully that's not not a bad sign. Hopefully that just means they've opened it, had a look at it, and it's sort of been manhandled back into the box. But hopefully not broken anything. Don't forget other EK products for your liquid cooling system. Blocks, radiators, reservoirs, pumps, accessories, and fittings. That I have covered already, and uh, some of it actually is EK, and some of it is not. So, what do we got here? So, we have a bag. Mounting FC. So I've got some thermal paste in there. Miscellaneous mounting bolts. Allen key. Some kind of Allen key wrench as well. Is that plastic or metal? Plastic would help stop um, any extra damage. Okay, so we've got a smaller Allen key that must be for some bolts somewhere. Okay, cool. All very exciting. Uh, some thermal pads. Presumably either already cut to size or cut it to size yourself. Nice. And there's the water cooling block. And yes, it does seem indeed that it has some RGB. Yeah, they've they've definitely they've definitely opened that. Original packaging. Wow, that's that's quite nice. That's a nice looking full cover water block. Now, the other fun thing is, as I don't know if this is going to fit, um, I've bought a Gigabyte 3090 that's still on its way. Um, it's not even arrived at the shop yet, so they're hopefully updating on when they get them in. I'm 7th in the queue, so whenever the, they have an order come in, that should be me first on the list. Well, 7th, but you know what I mean. So yeah, that's RGB comes down from there by the looks of things. Where it lights up, I'm I'm not sure. I I don't see any lights. Presumably, it's somewhere in that bracket. Yeah, must must shine from down down through there, I imagine. But yeah, that is that is very nice. Wonderful craftsmanship from EK. Like we're not we're not sponsored by EK or anything, but. Uh, yeah, I can't sing their praises enough. See, that's it's passed its test, which is very nice. But yeah, these these are just absolutely wonderful. The craftsmanship is amazing. It's it's even better than it's it's ever been. This this must be the smoothest one I've seen at the back there. But yeah, it fits the 3080 and 3090 reference cards. This should fit my gigabyte, but they couldn't confirm whether it would or wouldn't. Um my worry was the the custom power on the Gigabyte, which they've got some extension cables about here, which looks like this will actually fit perfectly fine. But there's just the worry that it might not, but hopefully it will. So this will keep the 3090 nice and cool, and we can tinker around with some overclocking and what have you, because, you know, if you're spending far too much on a GPU, which is what I did, then um, you might as well try and get the most out of it. So yeah, nothing else to cover really, and it doesn't seem to be an instruction manual. I don't need one, but you know, would have been nice. I wonder if that's that's gone missing, there's nothing else in the box. Generally speaking, these do come with a, a manual, 
if not a full instruction on how to uh, how to um, fasten it all up, it tends to tell you like how many things you have, what you should note, that kind of thing, like how many screws you should be anticipating. So that's kind of annoying. I wonder if that's been um, left out at customs because it's. I mean, there's nothing else in this box. That's that's it. But yeah, what what does the RGB use? I'm assuming it's just a four pin cable. Oh, a three pin cable. Yeah, I've actually not seen one of those before. Hmm, oops. <laughs> not just seen one of those before, that's that's different. I'm sure we'll figure it out. But yeah, anyway guys, that, that is the long and the short of it. Um nothing else to, to add to that really. Um I guess what I could do, guys, is actually thank all of you being here on the channel, all you guys that have um, become channel members as well. Um, all the money that's generated from donations and stuff has all been going back into the channel, so we're clearly upgrading the system so I can bring you more content and even better content, because obviously we can now record and stream at crazy resolutions with this, with this bad boy when uh, I get to fit this to the actual GPU. <laughs> Which again is where 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 all my money has been going at the moment is uh, straight straight into uh, the PC upgrades. So thirty ninety at some point, <laughs> and then we could do some videos of the air cooling, then some videos of the water cooling. And for those of you that are interested, um, I'm going to try and do a video of me um, putting this on, so you can see that procedure if you're interested in that kind of thing. And uh, we will have a better camera set up for this this point as well. Be because I have no PC, I can't do any editing or anything, so this is just totally off the fly, totally uh, off the cuff. Battery power's at 5%. Right, okay, guys, well, that's that's me done. I'm, I'm going to go to bed now, because I've just finished a night shift. I still have a cold and not feeling 100%. So, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.